Ah, the Legion, my name is Ludi, and today we're gonna do our top 10 formable nations within the Holy Roman Empire. For this video, we'll only take into account Germanic nations, so we're not gonna be including the Italian ones. If you guys wanna see more videos like these in the future, don't forget to leave a like, would really help me out so much with the algorithm. And if we get 1,500 likes on this video, I'm also gonna do a top 10 trade notes in 1.31. Also, if you do enjoy watching my videos once in a while, consider subscribing if you haven't already, only a small minority of you have actually subscribed to the channel. By subscribing, you get access to unique and quality content, as well as you encourage me to make more videos like these. The nation with the coolest flag, but the worst map color, I mean a barf, is of course a Svabia. Formable by any of these Svabian culture nations, Svabia offers the most amazing mission tree that you can ever imagine the barf lords would have. You can get tons of claims on all of basically Austria, as well as all of the North North Italian parts, later down the line even the islands of Sicily and the South Italian holdings, as well as South Germany. You also have some permanent modifiers including plus one prestige and legitimacy and plus five morale of armies and missionary strength. You also can get claims on the entirety of the Balkans that is owned by the Ottomans, as well as on the Holy Land. So after forming Svabia, you can embark on a really sweet crusade. These Svabian national ideas include national manpower plus 20% and morale of armies plus 15%, as well as a variety of other bonuses such as state maintenance, inflation reduction, provincial trade power, diplo rep, advisor cost and construction cost reduction, as well as aggressive expansion impact. I'm almost certain you've never formed Svabia, and if you did, you're one of the very few chads that actually managed to do so. Most of you probably didn't even know this nation exists, so I'll set this as a challenge. Leave a comment, let's see how many people actually did form Svabia. One of the tallest nations on this list, a Westphalia is formable by either a Westphalian or even a Rhenish cultured nation such as Hesse, Köln and so on. You do need Admin Tech 10 to form it and it does come with its own unique missions, albeit not too many missions, they do offer some permanent modifiers and quite a little bit of flavor as well as some claims. Westphalia's shining jewel is its national ideas. It does give you one extra diplomat, land force limit plus 20 and discipline plus Five. Idea cost minus 10 as its first unlockable idea. This is massive. Followed up by dev cost reduction and state maintenance reduction. National manpower plus 20. Cost of advisors with the ruler's culture minus 25, which is highly exploitable and can get you some ridiculously cheap advisors. National tax, tolerance, and provincial trade power. As you can see, it's a good, well fleshed out mix of both military, economic, and other mixed in ideas. Westphalia's position is also ridiculously good for trading, it can become a really big trade empire and by having only a few provinces within the Lubeck trade node can quickly make it its main trade node and filter in a lot of extra trade or if it doesn't want that can just retain all of it within the Rhineland parts. Aside for that, this is one of the best country colors you will find in the game so I highly recommend that you give Westphalia a try. One of the greenest nations on our list is Franconia. Franconia can be formed by any of the Franconian primary cultured nations as long as you have seven provinces which are Franconian within the upper and lower Franconian areas. Aside from the really snazzy map color you also get a really nice mission tree particular to the Franconian nations that even offers a plus one diplo rep until the end of the game modifier as well as a permanent claim on the entirety of the French region. The reason for this is because the Franks originally were a Germanic people people that migrated and conquered over the French region. As such, the Franconians do have some sort of legitimacy to that area. The ideas that you get as Franconia include national manpower plus 20%, aggressive expansion reduction, discipline plus 5, trade efficiency, fort defense and cav combat ability, as well as production efficiency and dev cost reduction as well as advisor cost reduction. So for those of you who like to play toll, Franconia might not be the worst choice. In the southern part of Germany lies the beautiful formable nation of Bavaria. Despite in 1.30 Bavaria being split between three separate warring entities, you can easily form this nation through a decision and then you get access to the amazing mission tree that also comes with the Emperor DLC for Bavaria. One of the most fleshed out mission trees in the game and truly well suited for the situation that Bavaria finds itself in, it offers a lot of flavor to this nation. Bavaria also has some 
pretty decent ideas including dev cost minus 10% and calf combat ability, production efficiency, tax efficiency, and discipline. Aside from all of this, Bavaria has an easy time expanding within the HRE and it has the best lands to be playing tall as, as you have mostly grasslands and farmlands as part of your starting lands. So if you are a big fan of beer and BMWs, then in your next playthrough why don't you form Bavaria. Next on this list is a nation that has some really versatile national ideas. I am talking about the Netherlands of course. You can form the Netherlands as any of the various Dutch nations with Holland being one of the best ones to start forming the Netherlands as. And this beautiful nation comes with its own national mission tree which is ridiculously great and which can boost up your nation considerably with a variety of CBs and modifiers. The Dutch national ideas are quite well distributed with an equal amount of economical, naval and military idea sets. You start off with national sailors and naval force limit plus 50% as well as 15 trade efficiency as your ambition. You also get inflation reduction, one extra merchant and trade range, dev cost minus 10, marine force limit plus 5% and naval leader fire, tolerance of the heretics, siege ability and land fire damage. As you can tell this nation is a great nation to be playing toll or an even greater nation to blob out if you want to especially since your navy can match the English navy and if you work your cards right in the early game you can even establish yourself within the British Isles thus securing the English channel node which will have the highest income throughout the game. As the Netherlands you can also get some of the republics to join you through events and it definitely does not lack special flavor events so get your pitchforks and start get colonizing. One nation on this list that is great for playing tall is Hanover. Hanover can be formed by any of the lower Saxon cultured nations especially easy to do as Brunswick or as Hamburg in certain situations. Hanover's national ideas include construction cost reduction discipline and trade power abroad as well as state maintenance reduction dev cost minus 10 land fire damage and maintenance reduction goods produced plus 10 diplo relations and fire damage received minus 15% as you can tell a lot of great boosts for developing your nation and building the right buildings as well as some military boosts although no morale of armies means that you will have to make do with a little bit less morale than your neighbors in most situations especially in multiplayers that is however compensated by the discipline and fire damage received that you get from your national ideas Hanover also has a nice set of missions that revolve around unifying the northwest part of Germany as well as get a PU over the English and a few permanent modifiers later down the line. If you are playing a multiplayer in this area then you definitely should go for Hanover. Up next is one very special nation namely Lotharingia. Lotharingia is a brand new addition to 1.30 and can be formed by Burgundy or Lorraine once you secure your succession as Burgundy and you enact the crown of Lothair which gives you an event that lets you form the nation of Lotharingia with which you also expand your mission tree. Speaking of mission trees, the Lotharingian mission tree is absolutely insane. You can actually snipe all the vassals that the French have from underneath their noses within the first few years by enacting the public wheel and then the king of the Franks that literally just transfers you all the vassals that the French have, thus they become your vassals. Aside from that, you get basically claims on the entirety of the French region, all of Germany and even the Italian parts. Basically it tries to give out claims on what was once a part of the Frankish Empire or Charlemagne's Empire. We also have some special national ideas that include national manpower plus 25, infantry combat ability plus 10 and aggressive expansion minus 10 as your ambition. You also get prestige decay, morale of armies plus 15, trade efficiency, idea cost, extra prestige and advisors, one extra missionary and core creation cost minus 20%. Despite historically being a very short-lived nation, Lotharingia in U4 offers a variety of goodies which you definitely should try if you haven't already. One formable nation that has seen a lot of flavor in 1.30 is the Holy Roman Empire itself. That is correct, once you pass all of your imperial reforms you can 
play as the Roman Empire or Holy Roman Empire better yet which comes with its own unique flavors such as unique missions which are similar to the German Empire's missions but are slightly different as well as its own ideas you start off with Diplo Rep plus two and possible policies plus one that means you can have up to four policies as well as you get plus five admin efficiency legitimacy plus 1.5 army morale 15 20% national tax modifier core creation cost minus 20 discipline plus five and governing capacity plus 10% these might not be the best military ideas but if you decide to form the Holy Roman Empire as for example Austria or someone of the sorts which doesn't have great military ideas this idea set will be a positive change for you the Holy Roman Empire also sees the addition of a plentiful of unique events scripted within it something which was definitely lacking in previous versions of the game so if you really want to be fake Roman fake holy and fake Empire definitely form the Holy Roman Empire a true pleasure of a nation to be forming is actually Germany Germany can of course be formed by pretty much any of the Germanic nations and I am talking about Imperial Germany and not the Holy Roman Empire of course if you form the German Empire as the Prussians then you still get to keep the Prussian monarchy if you want to in my situation I went with the Revolutionary Republic abandoning my Prussian origins Germany offers you a really great mission tree that pretty much gives claims on the entirety of Europe as its first few missions with extra claims outside of Europe afterwards and even an extra plus five admin efficiency modifier which combined with the other one that we got from Prussia namely the German Confederation means that we get plus 10 admin efficiency just from the two missions the Imperial German ideas give out infantry combat ability Republican tradition or legitimacy and diplo rep plus one national unrest minus two tech cost minus 10 discipline plus five trade efficiency plus 10 army tradition admin efficiency plus five and goods produced plus 20 percent some pros love to start as dith martian form prussia and then form the imperial german nation to end up with a massive 20 percent boost in their admin efficiency by following the mission trees in 1.30 germany has definitely received quite a few much needed flavor events but i still recommend holding out as prussia before going ahead and forming germany as prussia still definitely is king of these special events so when deciding what nation to form next always remember that you can form the imperial german nation and of course the best formable nation within the hre is prussia and i mean this with all my heart prussia is definitely the best choice for you to form under most circumstances there's a few reasons for that the main reason is the national ideas that prussia does have which include plus five discipline army tradition stab cost reduction morale of armies plus 20 percent infantry combat Bad ability plus 20 national manpower plus 25 and recruitment time reduction as well as dev cost reduction aside from the amazing national ideas you also have a super great mission tree that even gives you plus five admin efficiency quite early on depending on how you decide to expand within the empire besides the admin efficiency you get a lot of other permanent modifiers such as an army with the state and enlightened absolutism last but not least the Prussian nation has its own special government reform the Prussian monarchy which offers a guaranteed monarch military skill plus three max absolutism plus 10 a debuff of minus 50 governing capacity but it also offers the militarization of country that can give you an extra 20% manpower recovery speed as well as 20% land maintenance reduction and plus 10 discipline this is however gonna go down if you are over your governing capacity so make sure that you build up the right buildings to lower the amount of governing capacity that provinces require as well as go for admin ideas whenever you get a chance as you can see I only have 200 over my governing capacity which is not bad considering that I have a thousand six hundred development and I'm getting a buttload of money at the same time so if you have not yet formed pressure go ahead in your next game and do form it it is a great nation which offers the best feeling whenever you start stack wiping everybody's army with your superior Prussian troops I hope you guys enjoy this 
video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave the bell button on. It would really help me out so much and encourage me to make more videos like these. If we get a thousand five hundred likes on this video, I'm also gonna do a top ten trade nodes in 1.31. Now, I also want to give a very big thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support you've been offering me. I wouldn't be here without you right now. If anybody else wants to become a patron or a channel member, you can check the links in the description. So until the next one, have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.